in the UFC at present, and when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he could take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas well we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern day mixed martial arts more than we should but this fighter certainly fits the bill oh 110 percent he can do everything inside the octagon where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. is underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC good series of strikes by him there great job of mixing it up staying active keeping busy doing great work well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Blocked that strike. Right hand on point. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Nice punch there. Leg kick. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Oh, 
Nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Choi. Strong outside leg kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? It's such a fast leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. Still nice body kick lands. Nice deep punch. Punch is blocked. Punch attempt here, no good. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Just misses with the straight left hand. It up going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Joy gets touched by that kick there. Whiffs on the straight right now. Leg kick lands. Oh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. Nice leg kick. Big kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just misses there with the left. That was stuck in. Nice strike. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 20 seconds left. Beautiful body he lands right under the elbow. Ten seconds to go in round one. Oh, there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, 
but he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg. Nice body kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big kick. Oh, big head kick there. And they separate. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Just misses with the jab there. Beautiful punch. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Just misses with the right. <laughs> Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Both fighters throwing heat now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Oh, man, he jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did, because I have Strike lands there somehow. His opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. seen in the UFC really really bad and you got to think at some point the doctor is going to get called in if it's any worse than it is now this fight is going to be stopped all right so a huge round for him there nearly had him out of there with the head kick did get the knockdown 
Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign to... Oh! Oh! And really starting to make these shots count. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> and he's back up. Throwing that jab now again, the fire of eights. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked without the Anderson Silva situation. Good punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Good right hand right there. Powerful leg kick man. Choice kick attempt. That one was blocked. Takedown defense holds up. And they set. Big body kick. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. That knee might have landed there. And they separate. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. He needs to get on his bike. He needs to get in his space so that he doesn't get finished. So he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Just reached the midpoint of the fight. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Ooh, what a head kick. Just missed with the left there. Whoa! His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big kick land. All right, throws out. Oh, nice 
right hand. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Big Daddy. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man 